Can you hear stereo in a small speaker? This is a good question. It comes from Thomas in Belgium. Thomas writes, I'm having a hard time understanding how you can actually experience stereo with a small, compact speaker, where both signals are coming from basically the same exact spot. When wearing headphones, of course, you can differ between the right and the left earplugs, and you get a three-dimensional feeling, right? Okay. But this seems impossible with speakers, and especially with one compact portable speaker where the two left and right channels are so close to each other that they can almost be seen as one source. That's a great question. Thank you. And before we get going, I wanted to, well, we're in, in the Octave Records, which is the name we finally decided on, Gus's area up here, where we're going to be doing some great recordings that I look forward to to sharing with you. You know, we have Neil Young's 32-channel board set up. We've got DSD, the, the, the largest Sonoma DSD station in the world, right here. Um, yesterday, we showed you the, the Moog synthesizer. And today, I wanted to share with you this microphone. <clears throat> My very good friend, musician Dan Schwartz, who generously loaned us this microphone, which is probably the best microphone I have ever heard. Many say it is, if not the, one of the best microphones in the world. This is an AKG C24, but, and it's a stereo microphone. There's a left, uh, it, it, it's in a, what we call a bloom line configuration, where you have a capsule here and a capsule there at a 45 degree angle. <clears throat> so. And there, there's one capsule and there's the other down there. And you use it for stereo recordings if I had a guitar, if I could even play music, but I can't. But this beauty um, was modified by Tim Paravicini, who put in special transformers and tubes and, oh boy, and then we're using Fred Forcell's beautiful um, uh, preamplifiers. Uh, and in addition to that, we have, and I'll show you that a little li later, David Bach the Bach microphone fame. Uh, he, David makes some of the best microphones in the world, and he has also outfitted Octave Records with some of those. So, <sighs> yeehaw, that's a beauty. Okay, it is pretty much impossible, yes, you're right, <clears throat> taking um, like a small uh, Sono speaker, sitting on my wife's desk is a small Sono speaker. It's about that big. Oh, you know, foot and a half or so. And in it, you have the left and right channels. And it's better than mono, but not by much. For stereo, you really need separation. Now, I think some people, uh, Bose in particular, has done some work in this area to where using phase cancellation and <clears throat> some pretty tricky stuff, has been able to take a smaller enclosure and get stereo sound that's reasonable out of it. But most of the speakers you see just don't cut it. I mean, yeah, they're stereo, and when something's clearly in the left channel, because they're always pointed at an angle, you kind of hear it over here, and you kind of hear it over here. But True stereo isn't this ping-pong effect that we're looking for. True stereo is where we have a three-dimensional sound stage that's appearing behind the loudspeaker that's giving us the impression that we're in a live space. And no, small speakers just can't do that. Or if they can, I've never heard one that actually does. So it's a good question. I wish I had a better answer for you. I think over time we'll maybe figure out tricky ways to do such things. I know that we at PS Audio, once we get going with our speaker project, five years down the road, whatever, we're going to work on smaller streaming speakers for the home, kind of step ups to you know the mass market stuff out there like from Sonos and Apple, because you know what's valuable to us and into our hearts is making great sound creating this illusion of musicians playing in the room. None of those small speakers do that, not even a little bit. Ours, well, we'll attempt to do it. We'll see what we can do. 
and it'll be interesting. So watch as we do it. Okay, thanks. Great question. And bef before we take off, as I promised, I know you're all, oh God, here he goes again. And you can turn it off right now because we're done talking about the subject. Shameless plug, 99% true. I wrote this book for you. And it's, it's an easy read. I know there's a lot of chapters. Looks like a lot of pages. But, I mean, um, it's just stories. The whole first half of this book is stories of my misbegotten youth from Wright's Egg Ranch, where we, we go out and steal an Alpha Beta shopping bag full of, of eggs in order to try and, and egg old man Niedermeyer's house and get caught by Mr. Wright. I get a shotgun blast of rock salt up my butt as we're going over, um, throwing a, a dummy with a basketball head, you know, for uh, a basketball for a head into the street, cops chasing us, uh, oh, just on and on, all the crazy misadventures that I went through and luckily only wound up in jail two times? I think I only wound up in jail twice. Eh. But anyway, it's all in the book. It's a lot of fun. And I know if you don't like to read, get the audio book. I worked really hard at it. So thanks. Shameless plug. Go to Amazon and just type in 99% true and it'll come up for you. Grab it. Let me know what you think. I appreciate it. Talk to you tomorrow.